it's Kathy. How are you? And I love to be selling. I am jumping in here, sellers, because what I want to do is share with you some ninja tips. And these are specifically for eBay store owners. And it's some tips that I just used. And I said, you know what? Why don't I jump on and share these with my seller friends? So that's what I'm going to be doing. Hey, Pam. For those of you who don't know me, I am Kathy and I'm a top rated silver power seller on eBay. I've been selling on eBay for over 10 years. I'm also an eBay influencer. And what I love to do is I've got over 25 years of brick and mortar experience in retail. And I take that and I was on QVC for six years as a product presenter and I blend it all together. So I blend retail experience, I blend on air sales experience, and what I do is I boil it down and I do practical tips that are proven and that work. Yeah, I am up late tonight um, to share with you all. And that's what I wanted to do. So this is what I wanted to share with you. And this is specifically for eBay store owners. Okay, you ready? And this is it. So this is for something where you have more than one, a multi-quantity. So you're going to list it and you put it up. Now let's say you have... Um, 10 candles. What you need to do when you're doing your research is find out, does it sell better one at a time, two, three, four, what variations sell well? You also want to put it on the scale so you see where the prices start to jump. So it might be pretty economical to do two and then there's a big price jump when you go to three. So weigh them and figure that out. Um, some things you're going to find are going to be better to sell one at a time and some things are going to be better in groups of two or three or four, six, or you might want to do all 10. Now I've got an item that I have um, 50 of. So what I've done is I'm not doing singles on this. What I'm doing is pairs of two. So I put the two up. So it's two of the item and I researched it and I did the price. And I, and I indicated that I had four of them. Now, the reason I'm not indicating that I have 10 or 15 is I want some sense of scarcity. I want to see how this goes because I haven't sold this product before. Um, and so if I sell a couple, I'll just keep reloading the amount. Um, if I find it selling in two and three at a time, then I'll put a bigger amount in. But what I do is, so let's say you have 30 of an item or 40 of an item or 10 of an item. Sometimes you do better to do a smaller amount of that. Um, so it seems like scarcity. So then the buyer comes in and they go, oh, she doesn't have that many. I better grab it right now. So you're going to need to play around with that and see what works. So I put it up and I said, I'm pretty sure I said I had four of them. So it's a multi quantity. It's listed did the research. Then I go back and in promotions manager, okay, and eBay has two tools for eBay store owners with the word promotions. One is promotions manager and that's the tool that you use to create discounts. And the other one is promoted listings. That's the one where you pay for eBay to give you a boost in search. So I went into promotions manager because I wanted to do a discount. Anytime where you have similar items, let's say you have several coffee mugs, let's say you have several ladies' dresses, several children's shoes, it's worthwhile if you have an eBay store to go into Promotions Manager. And I'm gonna find out exactly where that is because I just did it and I'm pretty sure it's under the Marketing tab but I don't wanna say the wrong thing. Um, and what you do is you go in and you're going to create a discount. eBay's got great information. They have PDFs. It walks you through step by step. And yes, it's under the marketing tab. So in Seller Hub, under marketing, it's promoted listings. And you will click that and you'll set up the discount. Now, this is a lower cost item. So I'm doing a discount of 10% after the equivalent of they would be buying two sets of this. So two sets would run 16. So I'm giving them a 10% discount if they buy over $15 worth of the product. That way, if they want to buy two or three or four sets, they're going to be getting the discount. And that's what I want to encourage them to do. 
So anytime where you have similar items or the same item, it's worth it. And once you get comfortable setting up a promotion and promotions manager, you can knock one out in two or three minutes. I mean, it's, it's fast. And don't be afraid of making a mistake. You can always end it and you can edit it. So I went in and I set up a promotion in Promotions Manager for discount. And I find in Promote, you get to listen to New York City. I find in Promotions Manager, the tighter you niche the discount, the better off you are. So it's better not off not to do a promotion for your entire store, but rather a tight category. So coffee mugs, children's shoes, dresses. If you sell a big variety, perhaps same period, um, similar thing, vases. Think about if somebody was buying this, what else would they buy with it? Okay. That's your discount. You do a discount with promotions manager. You can do a percentage. You can do dollars. If you charge for shipping, you can offer free shipping and you can also do a codeless coupon. So a promotions manager is very, very handy and a lot of sellers neglect it. Don't. It's a great way to increase. It's called increasing the shopping cart. You're increasing the size of the sale. And you know what? People love deals. I love deals. I mean, when I'm in a store, I'm looking at, you know, if I add, you know, it's 20% off on what? What are the things that are 20% off? And I'll go and look at them. So if you're going to do it in a store, do the same thing in your store. That's what you want. Now, if you've got a multi-variation, which means I've got a single item, I'm looking around for something, I've got a multi-variation of them. Like everything's single here. But um, I have my, my pad of paper. So let's say I have more than one pad of paper. Um, then you could then go into Promotions Manager, and that's when you get the boost, the paid boost in search. So let's say I had uh, eight of the item, and I've listed it as a multi-quantity, so it's one listing on eBay with more than one. So I have five blouses, five pairs of sneakers, whatever. I can then go into Promoted Listings and boost it. So I'm literally running two promotions at once. I am giving them a discount if they buy more than one of what I'm offering, or if you've got mugs and you can do a discount. Then if you have a multi-quantity, let's say one of those mugs, um, you've got more than one exactly the same. Um, you can also do multi-variation with promoter listing. So let's say I have the shirt, the red shirt, my cha-ching shirt, and I have it in red and blue, that counts um, as a multi-quantity because it's the one listing but I'm offering it different ways. That you can put into promoted listings. If you are in the beta group, and you'll know if you're in the beta group for promoted listings and you can promote a single one of a kind item, it could be worth it to do it too. And we were talking about this in eBay stores the other day and I wanted to bring it up when you're doing a promoted listing, which means you're paying eBay to boost the listing, when you're doing a discount in Promotions Manager, which means you're giving them 10% off or 20% off or free shipping, be sure and factor it into your price, especially if you've got best offer on it too. So if your discount is going to be 10%, and you're doing promoted listings, you're giving them 5%, that's potential 15% coming off the top. You need to be pulling out a calculator. If you're comfortable with an Excel spreadsheet, you might want to do it in that. And you need to keep track of your profit. You need to make sure that when you are pricing your item, it's high enough that even with and not everything's going to sell through promoted listings, okay? But let's. But you have to price it that it could. So factor in that you can lose 15% off the top before you're paying your regular eBay fee, your final value fee, um, any listing fee. Um, be sure to factor that in because you don't want to get into the mistake of the item sells. You're like, yay! And you thought you were making, you know, $15, $20 on the item, and it turns out with the various promotions, you know, you're making far less than that. So be sure to factor it in. Sometimes you're just willing to take a little bit less. That's fine. It's something that has a big markup. Maybe you only got it for a couple dollars. You're able to sell it for $50. Yay, when you get items like that. But be sure 
to factor in all the discounts that you're giving that you still get a nice profit. When you're outsourcing items um, wholesale, um, when you are in thrift shops and let's say, you know, wow, this has happened to me a couple of times where, and also probably because I'm in New York City, um, I got some fantastic Donna Karen t-shirts. This was a couple of years ago. I mean, 15 of them. So that's a multi-quantity because I've got 15 of the shirts that would have been perfect for um, promoted listings, also perfect for promotions manager um, because I could have put it with other shirts so that way they could buy the one shirt and then buy another shirt. Um, and that I got at a really good deal and that was a really high markup. I think I got them for like five dollars a piece and they were selling for like thirty, thirty-five dollars. Is that's that's a good deal. So you look at it and you go, wow, you know, you're out at the thrift shop and a store has donated. Um, a lot of retail stores are going out of business now so this is a great time you know, take advantage of that and grab inventory. When you can get 10 of one thing, 20 of one thing, and your research shows you that it's gonna sell, perfect for promotions manager, which is the discount. Hey, buy this shirt and then, hey, buy this other shirt, I'm gonna give you a discount. And then promoted listings, because you've got 10 of the same shirt, um, you can do uh, promote a listing on that and get a boost in search. Okay, so that's what I want to encourage you in is when you're listing, and I know we got a list, 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 list. As you're listing, look at it and go, if you have an eBay store, can I put this into a promotion in Promotions Manager? That's the discount one. I'm giving you 10% off, 20% off if you spend more than 30 or $40 within this tightly chosen category and or can I also put it in promote a listings? Because you can put it in both if it qualifies for both. Go for it because you're going to get the boost in search and then the promotions manager is giving them the discount. They're in your store. They're buying the item. You go, hey, wouldn't you like to get more than one? Hey, wouldn't you like to also get another shirt or a sweater that I've also put in this promotion? Because if you put them both in, you're gonna save an extra $5 or $10 or 10% or 20%. So take the time to do it. Um, it increases the shopping cart size and that your promoted listings is gonna help you to show up and search. The whole point of all of this is, one, it delights the customers, they love to get a good deal, and find you, which promoted listings is helping your items to get found, but it helps your item to sell quicker. And when your items sell quicker, it's called turnover rate, return on investment, you're getting your money back and you're getting your profit back faster. And that's what you want. You know, certain things are going to sit for a while. That's just the nature of it. Collectibles tend to be that way. Um, I just sold a, a really nice plate. It's a collectible plate um, for Puerto Rico um, that I picked up and it sat for about a year. And I was figuring like a year, two years, and I just sold it to a wonderful a lady who actually messaged me, she was all excited because she says her husband loves to collect these plates. So I was like, yay, it found a good home. But, you know, more practical thing, you know, clothing, you really should be looking at the, the, getting it turned within a couple of months. If it's very unusual, very collectible, it's gonna take longer. Um, but you really want to be moving it. And if you can move it, um, retail likes to move things in 30 days, just to let you know, 30 days, 60 days and start to make that your goal, that I wanna move it in 30 days, 60 days, and then use Promotions Manager, use Promoted Listings to help you move that, okay? Great, you guys, and those are my tips for you. So as you list, oh, it's a lively night here in New York. Um, promotions Manager and Promoted Listings, okay? Great, thanks so much, bye-bye.